What's up everybody? So we're back out in the shop and today I'm going to be showing y'all my etcher. So this is the thing that I put my maker's mark on my knives with. And this is about as simple as you can make one. So there are other videos showing you how to make etchers with AC-DC converters and or battery chargers or battery tenders and things like that. And those do work. Uh, this is just how I decided to make mine. All this is is an AC adapter. This is the core of it. I took the plastic case off because I needed to wire these wires to this. And then what I did was I cut just the little prongs off and glued them onto the bottom here so that I can mount it in my power strip and the wires come off the way that I want them to come off. But all this is just wires that are connected to the wires that come off of this adapter and then some heat shrink material and tape to just insulate this so I don't accidentally shock myself. Now the other side of this is <clears throat> a little alligator clip that again I did more heat shrink material on on the bottom and the top for just traction to make it easier to, to control. This piece is I guess you could call it the cool end. Uh, this is what does most of the work here. And I'm going to show you how I made this real quick so that you actually can get an idea of what this actually looks like underneath this piece of heat shrink material. So what we have is this brass bolt that you can get from Lowe's, Home Depot, pretty much anywhere. This and all I did was once I put it together, I flattened the head. So it's a flat head right now. All I did was I took the round part off and made it to where it was completely flat. But this is how it's made up. It's just these little tubes here. But again, you can get from the hardware section in a Lowe's or a Home Depot. So it's two of those and then a little wing nut. So the metal is brass for both the bolt and the wing nut. And the whole point behind the wing nut is just to make it easier to clamp down like a wire. I'm just using this little guy right here to show you exactly what I did. So I just took it, that wire, I wrapped it around like that. So it was wrapped around the bolt and then I twisted this down and that keeps that wire exactly where it is and it kind of just looks just like like that and then what I did was I took the wings off of this to where it's just the centerpiece because I already had it tightened down as much as I wanted to the cable or the wire came out and then I just slid the heat shrink material over the whole entire thing just to make it all one piece and that is what gives you this so the little wings popped off of there and this is showing you it with it being flat. And of course it's changed color as I've used it. It's not of course this bright shiny brass anymore. But this turns into this. And then you take this and you would add one of these little, this is a used one that I've did but these little cloth pieces, this is 100% cotton. They're little swabs that you would use to clean guns. So, right here. <laughs> these, this is what I'm using right now. It's just cleaning patches, cotton cleaning patches. They seem to work real well, they're the right size, and these cost almost nothing. So I use those and this to etch the knives. I'm going to go ahead and show you uh, some etching on it real quick and we're going to etch a knife so let's go ahead and jump into that. So a little thing that I've learned from doing this the past couple of times, uh, this uh, packing tape, the clear packing tape actually works real well to keep the this, the fluid that you're going to use to etch this 
uh, off of everything else. It just creates a good seal and it doesn't let the liquid go through it. So we just create a little box just like this so that we can take our fingernail polish. And this is just black fingernail polish from Walmart. Nothing fancy. But it creates a little area that we can put that fingernail polish on. And all I'm going to do is I, I take this and I use my heater that's in the shop to dry it out just a little bit because you want it to be tacky. You don't want it to be very liquidy or whenever you go to draw in your design it will it won't work right if you have it a little bit dry it's easy to make a real clean line and there's the design right there and this fingernail polish trick works out pretty well I, I was really surprised so we just want to make sure that we attach one side to it and then all I'm doing is I'm dipping it in a solution that is salt and vinegar. And then I figured I would go ahead and give y'all a little look, the top left hand corner, of me putting together the AC adapter, kind of wiring it up and doing that part so y'all can see how I connected the wires to the adapter. And you can see that there's a little bit of bubbles that happen from the fluid around the cotton little patch that I have on there. And that's where you can see the reaction from the, the liquid and the metal and the applicator that I have right here. But I was very surprised at how well this actually worked out kind of one of those things where you you try and you hope that it does what it's supposed to do. So we just have that little area right there and then we go ahead and remove the the tape from it. And what we have here is just a acetone so that we can clean the fingernail polish off. And of course you can use fingernail polish remover if that's all you have. I just happen to have acetone. It comes off pretty pretty easily. And there's our little logo. Alright, so what do y'all think about that? Our little logo there. Nice and simple. I've been trying to come up with a few different ones. Uh, I had one that was a T-R-E and I liked it, but I wanted something that was unique for things that I do. And it looks like a trident, but it's not a trident. What it is, is it's a reversed E. Whenever I sign my artwork, so things that I do, uh, whether it be making a, a skateboard or a longboard, or artwork with painting and drawing, sketching, things like that. I sign it with a reversed E and then a forward R. And I wanted to take the E for two things. For one, my name is Eric. That's my first name. Two, uh, the experience. So everything that I do, whether it be shops related or knife related or family related, just in general, they're all about experiences. And what I wanted to do was put the experience on here because that's what I'm going for. Every single knife that I make is a new experience. Every single thing I'm doing here is a new experience. So whenever y'all get these, each one of them is a learning experience for me because no matter whether I make the same knife five times or one knife, I learn each time. They're all experiences. So that's what I'm putting into these and that's how I'm marking them. So guys, y'all tell me what y'all think about this. Um, if y'all would, give this video a thumbs up. And uh, also, if you haven't yet, which I don't know why you haven't, go down in the bottom corner, hit the subscribe button, uh, so, and turn on the notification bell, for one, so you get notified of whenever I make some of this stuff, or whenever I make some of that stuff down there, or whenever I make this thing over here. Basically, when I make stuff, you'll get notified. Um, so, if you haven't yet, share this video! Share one of the videos I've done in the past. Uh, but for real though, guys, 
thank y'all for coming by. Thank y'all for checking this out. And uh, guys, I hope y'all have an amazing day. I'll catch y'all next time.